Yeah, what's up y'all? It's your boy. I'm back. Um, first and foremost, to everyone out there who has been hitting me up, asking me to explain certain things in NBA 2K25, I want to thank you for doing that. Because you have actually ignited the tutorial pod back out in the world, telling people how things go. But, I will say, with a grain of salt, there has been people out there who say, I talk too fast. And that they essentially have to keep rewinding the video every single time I say something because of where I'm from, my slang, and the way that I use my words. So, this video, I'm going to try my best to slow everything down. So, first thing, like the video. Second thing, please subscribe. It's free. Third thing. Hey, let's get into a goddamn video. Today, I'm here to talk to you guys about Rebirth. A lot of people have hit me up um, via the Twitch chat, via YouTube comment section, and even on social media via IG DMs and Twitter uh, mentions. A few people wanna know how does Rebirth work? Is it the same as all the other years? What do they have to do to get it? The whole shebang. But I wanted to explain to you guys that Rebirth is supposed to work in your favor this year. Uh, NBA 2K, the dev team, whomever, whomever came up with this idea, fine-tuned this for the simple fact of they're trying to make the grind less grindy. And what I mean by that is, in recent years, whenever you hit Rebirth, that meant that you would hit 90 overall, and as soon as you get the 90 overall, you would then have the ability to remake your build into whatever you wanted to make it or whatever the case may be it's not a respect a respect is something completely different where you pull all of the attribute points or whatever the case may be and they go back into a bank and you use them on a new build that's not what 2k offers they offer a rebirth where you now have the ability to make that build and it starts at a 90 overall instead of the 85 lock now what that means is yes People had to put VC back into the new builds. Brand new VC, new money, not the old stuff. But for NBA 2K25, it's still the same, but there's a little twist with it. First thing that you have to do is when you load up NBA 2K25 and you decide, I want to play my career. These are the steps. Write them down, please. You make the build that you want to test out. Things that you might want to go and play my career. You might want to go play the wreck. You might want to play Annie up. You might want to go to the park. You might want to just play event center. You might just want to go to the theater. Whatever that vision is for you for the first three weeks of you getting the game. Not when the game came out, but when you officially start my career. I'm giving you a three week window and I'm going to tell you why. Within that three weeks. You should be able to do a bunch of different things, which is, like I said, get a free go-kart, watch the video. You will be able to get 99, which is a max stamina, and you will be able to get workout warrior rewards, right, for said first build, right? But, Rebirth. When you talk to an NPC inside the game next to the arena, that NPC will be standing there taking pictures and stuff like that, a trigger scene will come in. Now, of course, you can do this at 60 overall, 70 overall, 80 overall, 90 overall, 99 overall. You don't have to talk to that NPC until you just want the quest to start, right? Once that quest is started, it's going to ask you to hurry up and get the 90 overall. But once you get the 90 overall, I don't want you to take the rewards and everything like that from the actual quest and use them. I want you to wait until you get to 99 overall. And I'm gonna tell you why. Rebirth actually works a little different this year. Whatever overall that your first initial build gets to, every single build that you rebirth after that has the ability to go to that overall level. Which of course means you will be able to spend all of your VC and put into a second build immediately without having to grind the attribute portion but you will have to grind all of your badges from silver to whatever you max them out at you that means you will get any bronze badge that is for that build it will automatically get unlocked whatever silver badge is maxed out for that build 
it will automatically get locked out and any badges that you got for gold hall of fame or legend you will have to grind those badges out but you start from silver progress so to me when i first heard of it i said oh hold on that's fire but also there is a 10 percent bonus granted to your progression as well so there's a lot of pros with this and i don't see many cons to it because essentially most builds that a lot of people are creating a lot of their badges are on the lower end side except for the badges that they constantly trigger every single time that they play the game so that means if you created a slasher and you know for a fact that you need legend posterizer that means when you play the game the way you play it you're always going to be going for contact animations to constantly trigger that badge every single time but what if you had a badge like bailout you're not really going to pass out a shot like that but if you had bailout on bronze or even silver it's automatically unlocked for you you don't have to worry about grinding passes getting assists none of that it's already unlocked so what i want to do is i want to show you guys the actual rebirth and how to actually do it which is really really simple all you have to do is go quit out of my career after you unlock it right now again please for the life of me if you're watching this video please don't make a rebirth build until you hit 99 overall okay back to it now all you have to do is pick a new slot make a build and i'm not gonna make just any build i'm gonna go with a pro tuned build right handiness jersey number doesn't matter this build is already set up to be done now i could be a triple stopper to a general pesky whatever but if i hit continue it's going to give me the shades of who i play like which is d wade steve francis the aaron fox which are i'm not gonna lie that's a crazy trifecta right but as soon as you hit choose team and you choose whatever team you want to go on here's the rebirth screen so let me read it out for you guys would you like to create this save as a rebirth build rebirth builds get a head start on their career with the following an initial max overall equal to the highest overall rating you've previously reached okay all eligible badges unlocked at silver all right 10 percent badge progress boost like i told y'all now of course if i clicked yes and i decided to come in and skip through the immediate cutscene that 2k it? gives us and then choose where i want to go and i want to start in the city to immediately to, to start working on my build i, I breeze through that cutscene and i immediately get to look at what this build is all about now of course we just created a pro tune build just because but look at the max overall it is it is maxed out at 97 overall now of course i'm only two overall away from creating my point guard build yes i know i said it here first i will be creating a point guard because y'all point guards are scared to carry me i'm just gonna go ahead and say here all of y'all something wrong with y'all because all of y'all scared y'all don't be wanting to carry the unk I i'm gonna just say it out here right now but looking at this build with a with a 93 driving dunk a, a 85 three pointer um a god darn 90 speed with ball uh, I'm, well, 91, a 90 ball handle, 92 perimeter, which is insane, a 91 steal, which is insane, a 87 speed, 87 agility at 6'2". I'm pretty fast, and I don't know where I got a 66 block. I wonder why. And uh, let's not forget it, <laughs> 85 driving layup. Now, this would be a good 90 overall build right a nice little rebirth but since the new rebirth is the thing i get to go up to 97 so i'm gonna max out my strength max out my vertical i'm gonna i'm gonna play i'm gonna play with everything you know what i'm saying interior defense I'm gonna get my pass accuracy up because why not i'm gonna be able to shoot mid ranges now this is crazy oh i'll be in a wreck too why not go ahead and just up a, a, a little bit of free throw and that's a 96 overall. So if I do a couple ticks, I'm at 97. So tell me that getting Rebirth unlocked and then making your build 
go to 99 which is your first build and unlocking all of the gatorade stuff which is the 99 max stamina your workout warrior rewards everything like that why not give your build a head start out the gate just saying and of course um yeah so it costs 348k to make a new build yeah i can't afford it <laughs> but what i will say is um here go to badge progression and obviously all these badges are not unlocked to silver yet because i haven't hit the overall but if you notice see how this says locked for rebirth that means that this badge is ready to go to silver but i can't get it because of the 76 interior defense and or the 68 perimeter defense so it's already showing you that i do have badges that are able to be unlocked for rebirth but i just got to go ahead and get them up now of course you know i got my takeover perks and all of that the max plus one and everything like that haven't hit the level 30 inside the the season rewards yet but working on that working on that now if i helped you if i gave you a little bit more of gems on nba 2k 25 def definitely subscribe to the channel like the video share it with a friend let people let everybody know that ipod told y'all yo rebirth worked crazy this year you you don't gotta just make a 90 overall and regrind that build over and over and over you can as soon as you get your first build to 99 overall that's when you make your rebirth it comes with silver badges it, it comes at 99 maxed overall already i can literally hit the park or the wreck or the theater or any up or pro am whatever with this build, as soon as I make it from Rebirth, as long as my first build, it's 99 overall, and it gets the max stamina and all of its workout warrior rewards, all right? Now, with that being said, I'm gonna highlight y'all later. I hope you appreciated this video because I appreciate it, you guys reaching out to me, and I will see y'all next time. Peace. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. King Kong, King Kong, King Kong, I'll King Kong, King Kong.